Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of T-Dog RC. Um, today we're going to be taking a quick look um, at this. I, I won't call it a review because I, you know, I don't uh, get sent anything or anything like that um, with lots of different things to compare it to but um, we'll have a, certainly have a quick look at it and a quick unbox. This is a Toolkit RC M4Q which is a new um, charger that's been bought out by Talking RC and uh, the nice thing about this is it's a four port charger so you can charge four batteries at the same time and it does run off uh, AC as well as DC so you can just plug it into the mains which is uh, which is quite handy. So uh, yeah get yourself a cup of brew and let's get stuck in. Right, so here we are then. I must admit, I'd um, actually forgot that I'd got this on order. I ordered it a little while ago. It is it is a new product from Toolkit RC, so it's not long been out. Um, but uh, it was on back order. Uh, I may have even pre-ordered it from Banggood. Uh, I'll put a link in the description as usual, so you can order one if you fancy it. Um, but yeah, it turned up the other day, so I thought rather than just uh, open it, I'll, I'll do a quick uh, unboxing and uh, first look of it. So if anyone's thinking of buying one, um, then you can have a look at this and hopefully it will help out. So a um, couple of quick specs. Uh, as I said at the start, it's got four channels. Um, it can um, take 200 watts DC, so it can out sorry, it can output 200 watts DC. Uh, it's slightly less uh, if you do plug it into the mains on AC. You can't charge the batteries quite as quick if you're using AC, but I'm, I'm okay with that because the 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 reason I've already got um, a charger that can do four batteries at the same time, but it's a DC charger, and I've got a power pack for that and all that sort of gubbins. Um, that is actually uh, uh, in my office, which is where I tend to charge batteries um, because I normally charge them in the office and then go out for a fly. Um, but I wanted something at home that I could just plug into the mains, no faffing around, uh, which is why I decided to go for this. And again, it's got the four ports as well which is brilliant because it means you can easily charge four batteries without doing any sort of parallel charging or anything fancy like that you can just plug the four batteries in and go um, so I don't mind that it's going to take a little bit longer to charge them if I'm using mains um, rather than using a DC power source that's fine with me it takes one to four s it's a bit of a shame to be honest that it doesn't do 6s um, that would be nice but um, you know you can't have it all so yeah it takes one to four s batteries okay just to go through the specs um, so as I mentioned it's the uh, input is uh, AC 100 to 240 volts uh, DC uh, 10 to 18 volts uh, maximum of 20 amps uh, it charges it's the usual stuff so um, it will charge lipos liffies lions all that sort of stuff um, nine miles as well also the big thing to note is that if you are using a dc power source you can charge between well up to five amps um, per channel so um, you know if you've got a 5000 milliamp battery you could charge uh, four of those at five amps uh, using a dc power source if you're using an ac power source like i'm going to do um, then you can only charge it uh, up to five amps on two channels or uh, hopefully two and a half amps um, times four I'm assuming uh, which means for me that's fine because I'm mainly going to be charging it only takes four s anyway so I'm only I'm going to be going to be charging three s's and four s's and most of those are uh, 2200 milliamps or below so the fact I can only charge it at 2.5 amps 2500 milliamps is is fine by me um, does have an LCD screen to show you what's going on and also you can upgrade the firmware on it with a micro USB cable. So let's get it open. And have a look at what we've got. I've got a few um, toolkit RC bits of kit. They're, they're really quite, quite well made and all their stuff tends to be pretty uh, compact, which is which is good. So as you can see, this has not been opened before. Just took the cellophane off. And let me just put my knife away before I do an injury. I've literally just changed the blade on this, so it's extremely sharp. So what we got? There it is. So charger there, and then 
in the accessories box we've got uh, an American uh, or sorry not necessarily American but certainly not a UK charger but it's um, important to note it's a figure of eight uh, input there so you're going to need a figure of eight UK lead if you're in the UK uh, and there's a little micro USB cable uh, for that um, so yeah it's um, nice smart compact little unit um, it's quite weighty so it you know it does feel uh, fairly solid um, scroller wheel there that feels a bit weird if I'm honest but um, I'm sure that'll loosen up for selecting the menu options and then there's a um, another button there to go through the menus I'll power it up in a second so we can have a look at it there's the four ports there XT60 connections um, fairly standard and then you've got your up to 4s balance port there on the side of each one um, DC input there again it's an XT60 um, so you can plug another lipo into that uh, and there's that figure of eight input there's also a little fan on the back because um, I guess it's going to get pretty hot um, so that will help to keep it cool and it's got some rubber feet on the bottom so it sits on the bench quite sturdy uh, and this is typical for most toolkit RC stuff so let's get it powered up and see what it looks like. Right, so let's get this thing powered up. So I've got an AC lead here, so I'm just gonna plug that in. A Little bit of a blast from the fan and then it's on. Um, so the screen is really nice and clear um, and seems like a pretty good resolution as well. It's not a touch screen, so you do everything through this uh, control um, jog wheel and then this button here which would be absolutely fine but unfortunately it would appear on this that there's something not right with this wheel it's really uh, keeps getting stuck and then you end up pressing it so um, there's obviously a bit of a fault with that which is annoying um, but I'll probably just end up um, uh, taking the cover off and having a look at that because it's perhaps just not seated right or something um, so you've got the four channels on the screen here to scroll through the channels um, you just press this channel button here, so that's channel 3, channel 4. Um, it is quite difficult to see which channel you're on, but you can just look at the number in the corner and see which one's highlighted. Um, now the good thing is about these sorts of chargers is um, they normally let you choose different things for different channels, so you don't have to charge all of the same batteries because they work independently, so it's not like balance, um, sorry, parallel charging where everything's got to be charged at the same rate. Uh, and the batteries have all got to be identical uh, with something like this you can uh, basically uh, plug in a, th a 3s a 4s another 3s and a 2s and charge them all independently um, so so that's uh, why these sorts of things are quite cool um, so if we just quickly go into say channel one so we select that and press the jog wheel uh, we can choose the battery type from here um, number of cells obviously just leave it on auto um, and it will detect those from the balance lead and then if I just go down to the mode we've got the option to put a um, charge into the battery or stick it into storage charge so you can't really discharge with this but I guess um, if you select storage charge and the battery is still charged up that, that will perform a discharge as well anyway so um, select your end voltage just leave that as the default and then of course at the end there you've got the current um, and as we've mentioned there is a limit uh, when you're using the AC input to the amount of current um, that you you can charge at, but um, yeah, so you can it does go up to five amps, but of course you can only have that over two channels if you're using the AC input. Um, so I'll set that back. See now oh, the jog wheel's got stuck. I'm going to set this to two amps because that's pretty standard for what I need uh, for charging most of my batteries. Um, and then you hit the start button so press that to go back I shall just plug in a 3s lipo here um, so yeah it's picked up that it's 11.48 volts we'll plug in the balance lead and we can see now the individual voltage of that okay so that's ready to go I'm ready to start charging this so basically I just simply press the jog wheel I've already set all this up so it defaults to start so I just press the jog wheel again it asks if I'm ready to go so I say OK and we're away and as you can see there it started to charge and we should see the amps rising as it ramps up to 2 amps there we are so it's hit 2 amps 
and uh, it's off. So then, yeah, I could go and get another battery, plug that in, select um, what I wanted to charge this one at, and uh, crack on and, and let that one charge up. So this is going to be really handy to have uh, on the bench because I can charge four batteries at a time, which is which is uh, pretty decent, really. Um, that's going to speed up the charging, and as I mentioned, there's no worries about uh, parallel charging and plugging the wrong batteries in and um, sort of the a little bit of risk that that carries um, doing a bit of parallel charging. So that's it. That's the Toolkit RC M4Q Quad Smart Charger. Hope that's been useful for you. If you've got any questions, then please leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. Um, and as usual, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you would like to subscribe to my channel, then that would be absolutely fantastic as well. Really helps me out. Uh, and I'll put a link in this in the description from Banggood so you can get yourself one of these uh, if you fancy it. Okay, so I hope that review was useful and uh, I just wanted to sign off by uh, saying, I think this is probably the last video I'm gonna put out before Christmas. Um, I'll probably get another one done over Christmas um, for the new year. That's gonna be on um, the wiring up uh, one of these using uh, that Beck, uh, which I showed you in a previous video. So I'm gonna do a little video on how to wire this up if you're not using a flight controller. So for fixed wing pilots, which is quite common to not have a flight controller. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm, I'm going to do that reliably rather than just plugging it directly into a battery. So I just want to say to everyone watching, really appreciate everyone that's subscribing. I'm getting about one a week at the moment on average. So, you know, um, hopefully that will build and build as we go. Um, but uh, yeah, appreciate everyone that subscribes to the channel. And um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's great to see that I'm getting new subscribers now. Um, yeah, just wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Hope everyone gets to see their families and, and spend some time together after all the uh, crap of COVID. Uh, certainly know in the UK we're going to be allowed to spend a little bit of time with, with families over Christmas. So not sure what's going off in other countries, but hopefully everyone will get to spend a little bit of time with their families. Um, and I'll, uh, as I say, see you all before the new year because I'll try and put another video out before the new year. But in the meantime, have a fantastic Christmas and thanks again for watching.